There's a new 3D math learning game out right now, and it was created right here in Tulsa. Edna Martinson and Clarence Tan are co-creators of Bottle. They say it's getting more popular with people trying to teach their kids math and the kids themselves. Good morning, Clarence and Edna. Good, Good morning. morning. So Edna, let's start with you. How did this project start? Where did this come from? Yeah, so um, Clarence and I, we met in 2016 okay. um, before we got married and both really passionate about that intersection of games and education. Um, Clarence has been designing games for 10 years now. We've designed games together and we had tons of teacher friends who would share their struggles of having, you know, 25 plus kids in a classroom all on different learning levels um, and all starting to get more and more disengaged in subjects like math. And mm. so we thought, why wouldn't we take a medium that we know kids love, which is games, and um, use it to help them learn and level up and provide teachers with the tools that they need as well to better facilitate learning. Wow. Clarence, was this a product of the pandemic, the lockdown? Was it before that? Kind of give me the timeline on Bottle. Yeah, of course. Um, so we had the idea before the pandemic, okay. um, but the pandemic really just exponentially grew. Um, the amount of users and the teachers that were signing up on our platform. Um, before we were trying to, you know, call schools or drive into schools and tell them about Bottle. And then as soon as the pandemic hit, we were over flooded. So we signed up about 50,000 kids that first year, a million the next year. And then since 2022 till now, we signed up another three and a half to four million kids. Four, three and a half to four million kids in three years, yeah. give or take? Mm -hmm. Wow. I want to show some clips um, because I want you to describe what is happening here, Edna, and kind of how we play this game. What is what is this here? Yeah, so this is one of the game modes called Pet Battles, and um, as kids, kids can play against each other, um, mm. and as they're playing, they're answering math questions that help them to um, to level up, level up, and be able to you know attack their opponents. Um, this is an example of the backpack, which the more math questions kids answer, the more knowledge points they get and coins that they can use to you know deck out their bottle characters. And Clarence, I'm seeing a lot of signature things from game design, right? You have like the backpack, you have different modes and shops that you can go to. These are going to be games that kids recommend recognize, but with an educational bent to them, right? I mean, if you've played a cell phone game, you're going to know how to play yes, this. Yes, exactly. How do you just describe the, the growth? I mean, it, can you come up with words for just the last three years, what this has been like, Clarence? <laughs> what words oh. come to mind? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's been a, a wild ride. I mean, it just grew so fast. There was, there was so much that we did not know. So we've been really um, fortunate to have a lot of great partners along the ride. So um, like we have venture capital firms here in town that invested in us. Um, even like Apple Entrepreneurs Camp that helped us wow. with like design, giving us feedback so that we can iterate fast whenever we run into issues like, hey, there's a lot of people dropping off at this page. Like, how do we get past this? And then the support from the community as well as Apple has been really, really good. What's your team size right now? And what are you hoping it to be? I would imagine you'd had to hire a lot of people. Yeah, to keep we, this up. <laughs> we are a team of 20 right now. Um, okay. 20 awesome, incredible people. Shout out to Team Bottle. <laughs> nice. And you all said you just walked over here from your downtown offices. Mm -hmm. How perfect. Yeah, we did. It's been it's been really great to build in Tulsa. Um, the community has just been so supportive and having places like 36 Degrees North, which is like right around the corner yeah. um, here to you know help us as we're growing and scaling has been great. So you've been able to use some of the co-working spaces yeah. Yeah. here in yeah. town. That's awesome. I have a graphic here that I've kind of put together based on some information. You're thinking, okay, if I'm a homeschool parent, if I'm a teacher at a traditional classroom, how do I get this? Here we go. Take us through, Clarence, how do we sign up? This is Parents and teachers can sign up for this? Yes, parents, teachers. Um, on For parents, they can just go to the App Store, um, just type in Bottle to find us. Um, they can also use Bottle on the web. So any Chromebook or laptop, just go to bottle.com and okay. they'll be able to sign up for free. Um, we do have premium subscriptions, but those are optional. Um, we chose this model because, um, you know, the parents that do decide to pay for the upgrades get to offset the cost, of the cost of the program for everyone else. So we do get that equity in education that we that's so important to our mission. And I, I was curious, we have a little bit of time here left, Edna. The real-time reporting, tell me about that. So if I sign up for this, I'm going to get real-time reports of my student or child's progress? Yes, absolutely. As they're answering the questions, um, real-time reports are delivered on the parent and teacher portal as well as showing them where um, kids learning gaps are so they can like target practice to those specific skills all right we're gonna 
Keep the camera right here for a second. B-O-D-D-L-E. That's how you look it up. They're wearing the t-shirts. Clarence and Edna from Tulsa. Thank you all so much and congratulations on this incredible success. Thank you for having us.